Hey guys, welcome back. For this week's video, I will be distinguishing between embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. So, embryonic stem cells are primitive, undifferentiated cells that are derived from a five-day pre-implantation embryo. So, this is an embryo that has been fertilized outside the uterus. For example, in an IVF clinic that are left over or no longer needed can be donated to research with the consent of the donors or parents. So these cells are capable of dividing without differentiating for a long period of time in culture and are often stimulated to differentiate, so change into a specialized cell. This is done by scientists changing the chemical composition of the culture in which they are present or altering the surface of the culture dish or modifying the cells by inserting specific genes. So ultimately these cells have the potential to be anything, which means they are pluripotent, which means they are able to give rise to all the various types of cells within the body. Adult stem cells are also known as somatic stem cells, and these stem cells are also undifferentiated but are found in the body after development that multiply through cell division in order to replenish dying cells and regenerate damaged tissues in, ad in adults. These cells can be found in bone marrow, but are so rare, only about 1 in 10,000 to 15,000 cells in bone marrow are stem cells. So here is a table outlining the main differences between the two types of discussed stem cells. So embryonic stem cells are pluripotent, and they become, can become all cell types of the body because they are pluripotent. They can be grown relatively easily in culture, and sci but scientists believe that tissue derived from embryonic stem cells may increase the likelihood of being rejected after transplantation, but it is unknown as very few clinical trials have tested this. These cells are also considered ethically, ethically controversial. Adult stem cells, however, are multipotent stem cells, so they have the capacity to self-renew by dividing and to develop into multiple specialized cells in a specific tissue or organ. Um, however, they are limited are limited to differentiating into different cell, ty cell types um, of their tissue of origin and are also rare immature tissues so isolating these cells from an adult tissue is challenging and methods to expand the numbers in cell culture so growth of cells in vitro in an artificial medium for research or medical treatment have not yet been worked out so this is important as a large number of cells are needed for stem cell replacement therapies however adult stem cells and tissues derived from them are currently believed less likely to initiate rejection after transplantation this is because a patient's own cells could be expanded in culture coaxed into assuming a specific cell type so differentiation and then reintroduce into the patient. So a patient's own cells means that the cells are less likely to be rejected by the immune system. And this is so beneficial because immunosuppressant drugs have, an awful, have, also, have awful side effects. And they also are considered more ethically acceptable. Mm -hmm.